here. Space Titan gave me a bag of space bones, and the links are in the table below. Let's use this data to review how to make a dot plot. You've made dot plots before, so we'll go kind of quick. If you look, my least value is 6, and my greatest value is 7 and 3 fourths. So I'm going to mark off fourths between 6 and 8. Just mark off half, and then cut each half and half. Okay, now when you make a dot plot, you just have a dot for every data value where it belongs above the number line. So the first one is six and a half, so I'll put a dot there. The se second one is seven and a fourth, so I put a dot there. Then I have six. Six and three fourths. Six, another six, right here, another six and a half. You have to have a dot above the number line for every data value. Okay, there's my dot plot. Space Titan, it's your turn. Hello, kids. I collect space rocks as I travel across the galaxy, and the masses of 10 of my rocks is shown in the table below. We'll use this data to review how to make a stem and leaf plot. Since my data values are decimal, the leaves will be the decimal part of the number. If you scan your data, you see that our stems need to be 1, two and three. There's only one one, so I put a nine here for 1.9. I have multiple twos and I need to list them from least to greatest. So I scan my data and see that I have two 2.3s. I must list a three for every one, then a 2.4 and three 2.7s. So you have a leaf for every data value. On my threes, I have two 3.0s, so I must list two zeros and a 3.2. Now, as I look at this stem and leaf plot, I see that 1.9 is my least value and 3.2 is my greatest value. Hello, Earthlings. I'm Space Robot. We're going to review how to make a bar graph from frequency table data. Let's look at the tally marks. This means one, two, three, four, five. So, Alien Knight had. 12, Universe Protector has 7, and Space Titan has 9. You've made bar graphs before, so we will go quickly. For Alien 9, I have 12, so I will mark the top of the line and then draw and color in my bar. Universe Protector has 7, that is halfway in between 6 and 8. Space Titan had 9, that is halfway in between 8 and 10. There you have your review of bar graphs. Star Racer, it is your turn. Hey, dudes. The height and mass of some rockets entered in a race at the Galactic Race Arena are listed in the table. We're going to use this data to make a scatter plot. Yes, I said a scatter plot. Although a scatter plot itself is new, you graph points, and so we'll just build on your knowledge of graphing points. The height will be the X, and my mass will be my Y. Usually on a coordinate plane, your scale for X and Y are the same, but with scatter plots, sometimes our numbers are so different that our scales are different. For example, our X's are all pretty small, so this is zero, and I'm gonna make every other line a one. That means each line in between is a half. If you look at our data for our Y values, they're pretty big. In fact, there's no way I can get that high counting by ones, so I'm going to put a break. A break is just a visual mark to indicate that we're skipping some numbers. Then I will start counting by three at 300 and I will count by 25s. So that's 320, there's 350, 375, 400, and so on. I'll go slow on a couple of points. The first point, the x value is 3, so I start at 0 and slide to the right till I'm under 3. The y value is 425, so I slide up to 425. The next dot is 2.5, 390, so I start at 0 and slide to the right till I become to 2.5, which is between 2 and 3. And I slide up, oh, there's 400, that's 375, so I'll do a little below the 400. Then we have three and a half, four hundred. Start at zero, go to the right to three and a half, and up to four hundred. Okay, let's finish graphing the rest of these points. Now, the reason a scatter plot is called a scatter plot is because the dots are kind of all scattered around, they're not in a straight line. 